cancer or Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And then finally, to complete the operation, we'll make one of those incisions a little bit bigger, um, often up to an inch and a half in size. And through that one and a half inch incision, incision we'll take out the long segment of diseased bowel. Uh, and then we'll go back in with the camera and we'll hook things back together again. Almost anyone, actually. Um, the patients who are difficult to do laparoscopic surgery on are difficult to do open surgery on. So the classic group that people think that are challenging to do laparoscopically is people who are very heavy or very, very overweight. Uh, but we can do laparoscopic surgery on people who are you know, 300 pounds or more sometimes. Uh, and the reason we try so hard is that we can still do most of those cases laparoscopically. And we know that the worst case scenario is that we make an incision and we do an open operation, which still is a good operation. But for the majority of these difficult patients, if we can finish it laparoscopically, well, they get all the benefits of laparoscopy. They recover quickly, they have less pain, and they get back to normal. So the difficult patients are the patients who are very obese or who've had a previous major operation. Because then we have scarring to deal with as we're starting the surgery. Uh, or people who have very complicated cancers or other pathology that's stuck to different things.